In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to color grade your images in Adobe Lightroom. What we're gonna be doing is taking samples from a movie and using them colors within our own pictures. So you can see here, this is the after that I've done on my picture. And I used a screenshot from Alice in Wonderland movie. Actually, this shoe I was inspired by this movie. So let me reset this go back to the beginning and show you what I've done. So you can see there's the before and there's the after. So there's only small amount of adjustments within there, but you can see we've got some reds, we've got some yellows, and we've got a little bit of green coming through as well. Okay, so let me reset this back to the beginning. And this was the screenshot that I grabbed. So to get this, all I've done was simply come on to YouTube and I typed in Alice in Wonderland and the trailer come up. Now within the trailer, there's lots and lots of different color grading. There's lots of different styles as you can see here, um, which is amazing. And it's just finding something that fits in with your particular picture. And this scene here, that's exactly what fitted into mine. So all I did was uh, take a screenshot from this. So to do that on a Mac, you press Shift, Command, and then the number four, and you'll get this little crosshair up here, and then you just simply drag across, let go, and you'll see down the bottom here, the screenshot is now going to appear on my desktop in a second. So then what we do is we just come over to Import, and we select the desktop, and there you go, that is the one that I've just taken. So I'll just click import and that will import in. And there you go, there is our screenshot. So what we're gonna do is gonna come down to this little box here and you'll see that you've got the options there of custom colors and we've got this little dopper here. So if we click on that and then drag, what we're gonna be looking for is shadows. So anywhere that's dark within the image. So on this particular image, there's lots of different options we can go for. There's some shadows up here, which these have like a red hue to them. In here, you can see that they've actually used a pink color within their image. And what's great about this is that you'll discover all the different colors that are used that you're not probably aware of to achieve a desired result. So let's go with something around there, okay? So now I've done that, I've let go. What I would do is come to this box here, right click and put set this swatch to current color. That now means that it's stored within there. Then what we can do is hold the Alt or Option key down and then click reset and that will reset the picture back to default. Then we go to the next, which is the midtones. Click on the little box again, select the dopper. You need to click and hold. And now we need to find a shadow, uh, sorry, a midtone area. So usually, we want to be looking at skin tones. So I'm going to look around here. There we go. So I'm going to come to the second swatch here, right click and put set swatch to current color. There we go. And then I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and click reset midtones, come to the highlights and we're going to do the same. So I'm going to click and hold. And the highlights up here is around here, it's the sun. That's coming through there. So I'm gonna let go, come down to this swatch here, right click and put set this swatch to current color. So we now have them three colors. So we've got our shadows, our midtones, and our highlights. So let's go back to the library module and let's open up our image. Now this is the easy part. So let's come to the shadows, click on the swatch here. I'm gonna to go to the first, there we go. So that's our shadows. And then we're gonna click on the midtones and we're gonna select the second one. And then for the highlights, we're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna select the swatch that we selected. Now, what you'll see is that these colors, saturations have been added at 100%. So what we need to do is adjust that for our pictures. So if we come over to the color and hold the shift key down, it will lock actually that hue at 333 that particular color there you can see. And then we can just drag this down so we can decide how much of that we want in. Now, 
we don't want too much because it's just going to look too false but we need to get an area that's just about right so around there i would say and let's do the same within the mid-tone so let's hold the shift key down and we can see what that's going to do to our picture so again it only needs a saturation of about 10 or 12 just to give it a hint and finally let's go to the highlights and we can see there's not actually a lot within that highlights so let's just pull that up to around 10 there we go so now what we can do with these as well is we can decide how much of this we want to blend so the blending is basically do we want to blend all three shadows midtones and highlights together so that we create almost like a seamless blend and i think for this particular image it does work really well so we can push this up and that will just blend and then we can decide on the balance if we want to favor more of the highlight colors or the shadow colors so if we bring this to 100 percent you see there that's going more biased towards the highlights and then down this way minus is more biased towards the shadows so you need to decide what works best for yours i'm going to push this to about minus four that looks really really good and then the luminance is the brightness of that particular hue so we can increase or decrease that and again it does vary depending on your particular image so the best option is to just pull and push and see what works best for you let's come to the highlights and see what that does so we can get an idea so yeah around there so there's there's no kind of method to that it's just doing it by eye so that's looking pretty good let's press the y key to get a before and after and you can see there there's a before and after now what i'm going to do is click on here for reference there we go right okay so now what we can do is just assess this and look at the image and also the colors within our original screenshot and as you can see on here the green is a lot more prominent than ours is on, on, on our picture there so I think that is something that we need to address and you can see within the original there is a little bit more green coming through so this will be just to do with the highlights and some of the mid-tones and shadows just bringing out more of this orange so there's a few things that we can do we can select a mask select the brush and actually get a selection so we could paint all of this in or we could select the subject and then invert it which is probably easier if we do it that way and then at least we can um, get a, a fairly good selection so let's click on select subject there we go so it's done a, a relatively good job there we've missed a little bit of the chair but i'm not too worried about that so then what we can do is click on three little dots and click invert and then we get an inverted selection there which is what we want so let's take the overlay away and now we can come and color treat this so there's lots of things we could do we could change the hue which is the obvious thing but the simplest way for this particular image is just to change the tint because we can see here there's a green in that tint so we can just bring this down now what i don't want to do is overpower that green too much because in the screenshot there is some highlights not a lot but there is some highlights within there so let's just bring it down to about there and if we wanted to like i said earlier we could just increase that green up a little bit so we're going more towards that green spectrum but what i don't want to do is lose too much of the color so i think about there that's it so just press enter to that and that will give us our final result so that's how you do it so you can see if we look and compare so the things like the hair that's come out more more red so is the chair we can see that the yellows and oranges within the greens are still here that's what we wanted we wanted to keep that and we've got some really really nice colors in the midtones as well as you can see all around here and down here and the skin as well so there's a few little things we could do just to just to finish this off we could just bring the highlights down a little bit and 
bring them shadows down a little bit more and add a little bit more contrast and I think that will do. So yeah, that's how we do it. So inspiration there from Alice in Wonderland. You can see here that we've uh, yeah we've had a really, really good result with that. So I think as well, when you're doing this, it doesn't have to match perfectly and it won't because the lighting will be slightly different to whatever it is you're doing. But as long as you get a general idea and a general gist, then you can uh, then just tweak it to your own liking. So someone might prefer a little bit more green, but I wouldn't. So I hope that's helped and I look forward to seeing your images. Take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.